Hey guys, Jonathan here. I'm uh, going to show you guys a quick way to build a website for your business. Uh, this is going to be part one of, I think, maybe ten. Uh, maybe more. We'll see. Uh, part one, I'm going to do them at each uh, small interval so that uh, I'm not overloading you with a bunch of information. Uh, for those of you that have never heard of Yahoo Site Builder, that's what I'm going to be using to build the websites today. Uh, I'm going to give you an example of a website, a few websites that I've built. Um, using Yahoo Site Builder. Anyway, um, let's get started here. These are some of the websites that I've built with Yahoo Site Builder myself. Uh, they're really nice. Uh, let me give you a pretty good example. One of my prime examples of a website I've built with Yahoo. Here it is. I uh, built this for a company uh, last month. Uh, pretty good website. I like it. It's built with Yahoo Site Builder. Uh, all the mouse over images and all that good stuff is all done with Yahoo Site Builder, including that home that you see right there. Um, what you need to do is uh, go to uh, Yahoo Site Builder, uh, go to yahoo.com, and uh, type in Yahoo Site Builder download. Then you want to click the one that says login, or what says uh, download Yahoo Site Builder. And uh, it'll ask you to log in. I think I'm already logged in now. Uh, anyway, I want to know, maybe not. <clears throat> Alright, then it'll just automatically pop up a download for you. Yeah, you site but or you can click there. Alright. Uh, also wanna tell you guys about coolycool.com, uh tutorials, resources and more. Uh it's my website for the fans on YouTube. Let's get started with Yahoo Site Builder. Alright, I'm going to open up, um, let's do, I don't know which one I want to do. <laughs> I've done a lot of websites, so it's kind of, alright, let's do 10, I don't know about that. This is one I've been working on. These are here are all your pages. Uh, this is where you publish the site to Yahoo Web Hosting. But if you don't have Yahoo Web Hosting and you'd still like to use Yahoo Site Builder to, you know, learn um, until you get advanced enough to use uh, Yahoo Site Builder or to Dreamweaver or whatever you'd like to use, then I suggest you <coughs> uh, learn, uh, watch one of my other tutorials so you can learn how to. Uh, remove that watermark that Yahoo puts on your website. It'll literally go across the screen like like this right here does. That little users Jonathan desktop site builder TN. Like that little line that pops up when you click on the image. Anyway, to insert image you want to click right there. Click insert and then image and then find your images. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the basics of uh, uh, Yahoo site builder. Remember that your home page is an index. Uh, and remember also to save your uh, image, save your uh, website to the desktop. Whenever you create a new site, click Create New, Start, name your website, and then location needs to be your desktop. So you can have something similar laid out like this. I've got all my websites that I work on now. Um, this is a school website I'm actually starting right now. But anyway, um, it's not using uh, Yahoo Site Builder though. I did a little bit with Yahoo Site Builder, but not very much of it. But anyway, there it is. You guys uh, enjoy the tutorial. There's me right there. And remember to go to coolycool.com for more resources, uh, ebooks, uh, make some money with our uh, reseller program. Uh, also, uh, let me tell you about uh, quickwebhome.com. Uh, get great uh, domain, cheap, cheap domains, web hosting, all that good stuff. Uh, all you do is go to quickwebhome.com um, and become a reseller if you'd like. Want to make some money? Go that way. Alright, that's it guys. You have a good rest of the day and I uh, look forward to making more tutorials for you.